Greetings, my friends. Larry here, and I'll be your host on Larry's Fountain Pen. And today, I want to talk about a brand new pen that just has come out recently. And the pen I'm speaking of is no other than from Fountain Pen Revolution. It's called the Indoor. Uh, I-N-D-O-R-E. Now, here's the pen right here. Now, you can pick up this pen for... 10 bucks. So this is the kind of pen that, you know, if you break it, if you lose it, it's not going to break the bank. But you still want to pick up a pen that's going to be effective, that's going to have a amazing effect on you when you put it in your hand and you put that nib to paper. At least that's what I go by anyway. For me, it's not about how much I pay for a pen. It's how that nib actually performs on paper. You with me? Okay. Now, th this pen is the transparent blue, but they come in assorted colors. You can get them in green, black, uh, like a, this one right here, the transparent blue, transparent purple, and transparent red. And the nib sizes, just a buku option of uh, nib sizes. But the standard nib sizes with no upgrade fees would be your extra fine, fine, and medium. <clears throat> and then from there, if you upgrade to a broad, a one uh, millimeter stub, um, or a steel flex, it's going to be a $3 for your added upgrade. That's still not too shabby, right? But if you want to take it further than that, you can go for a steel ultra flex nib for like $13. Incredible nibs. And I'll do a writing sample in a few to show you how incredible these nibs write. Uh, so let's talk about the pen here. The pen has a sturdy clip, and if you want to make this into an eyedropper, I believe you can. It doesn't have any metal components inside of it, uh, so just put a little silicone grease on your threads. And you should be good to go. It does come with a converter. And I do have it inked up now. At this moment. So. And the nib that I'm going to be showing you on this pen. It's going to be the uh, steel flex nib. Not the ultra. But just a standard steel flex nib. Screw on cap. You got your standard chrome band, a nice wide chrome band around at the bottom of the cap. And uh, when you go up to the, the, the very top of the finial, not a lot going on there. And as we go down to the end of the barrel, it kind of like kind of tapers off right about in there. So it does post and it posts very securely, no problems whatsoever. I have been writing with this pen for oh, about a week now. Yeah, today's Tuesday. Uh, I believe it was last Tuesday we were at Fountain Pen Revolution when I picked this up, I believe. So, and it does use small international cartridges. So that's, that's cool. And what's another great thing about this pen or any of the Fountain Pen Revolution pens that they're the maintenance on these pins are, is very simple, uh, and it can be fully disassembled and reassembled with really no problem. And if you go to Fountain Pin Revolution, you can check out Kevin's video when he disassembles the pin completely and puts them back together again. So, the length of this pin, just like you see it here, is 
5.4 inches. And then posted it's going to be 6.3 inches. The section uh, diameter is 0 0.35 inches and the body diameter is going to be a whopping 0 0.5 inches. Now the weight of this pen is 12 G's. So, you know, you're getting a lot of value for not a lot of money. Um, I think once you try this pen, you're going to be overwhelmed like I was because I didn't set my expectations high because I was saying, you know, 10 buck pen, you know, and, you know, $3 more for steel, flex, nib, you know, how great is that going to write? Uh, I was expecting a, a good pen. Uh, so I did it, got the pen. So I thought, you know what? Now it's time to show you guys out there on this pen how it writes. Uh, they got some nice, amazing colors. And those solid colors, like I just mentioned, the green and the black are solid colors. So you get a little bit of both worlds, the solid colors and the transparent colors as well. Also comes with a converter. That's always a plus. So let's get to writing here to show you what this pen can actually do. I don't have a medium nib. I don't have a fine or extra fine. I have the steel flex nib. I'm going to go ahead and post it. And here we go. Uh, I'm going to be using the Rhodia pad. Now this is the pad that I picked up while I was over at uh, Fountain Pen Revolution's uh, headquarters. So here we go. No pressure whatsoever. Now let's give it some pressure. When you go real fast, you're going to railroad it. As you would do any flex nib, right? So you want to take it slow and let's... So here we go with some pressure. No pressure. And pressure. Now that's some flexing. Again, here it railroad, here it railroad, because I was going too fast and applying um, quite a bit of pressure. So, here we go. And this is with pressure. And it railroad because it was running low of ink. Take my time. There it is again. Very nice. So what do you think about that nib? And we do some wetness. Nice and wet. And we do a little bit of writing. So, nice and wet. The nib is really, in my opinion, really just a really nice flex nib. But like I said up here, if you, if you go real fast, you're going to run out of ink. It's going to railroad. Bing. So, there you go. And a cross stroke. 
now we're going to put more pressure on and watch these times open up right down here. See? Boom. Now that's pretty awesome. Where can you find a steel flex nib for 13 no, I'm sorry, for $3, an upgrade of $3 for a steel nib. That's not a shabby price. I mean, that's that's what I would call affordable. So this whole pin would, would cost something like, what, $13 for the pin. And, you know, this pin, like I said, I've been using it all week. Uh, I just enjoyed it so much that I just re-inked it and re-inked it. So what do y'all think about it? Uh, you know, I, I don't know how the medium nibs are or the fine nibs or extra fine like I just said. But I know how this nib is. So if you're looking for affordability, quality, then, you know, this may be right up your alley. The pin does what it's supposed to do. It writes, one. It's a nice-looking pin. It feels comfortable in the hand. It's great for long writing sessions. It's got a flex steel nib on it that does the job. Now when you start running low of ink you may need to uh, prime your feet a little bit more because you're going to be laying down some ink on paper. What you can do is most likely make this into an eyedropper and it should handle quite a bit of ink in it, but you know, I don't know if that's true because uh, there may be a little bitty hole right there at the end. So, let me say this, do not make this pen into an eyedropper. There. Uh, I am just now seeing a little bitty hole maybe, and it just could be me, but uh, it does not say in the description this can be an eyedropper. I was just taking that for granted and I spoke out of turn. So forgive that. Do not make this into an eyedropper. Rather be safe than sorry. But if you're an experiment, uh, experimental kind of person, you want to give it a whack, you can do that at your own risk. So what do you think about it? Well, I like the pen. Obviously, or I wouldn't be using it. Um, what do I not like about the pen? Really, there's I, I can't find anything negative to say about this pen. And that's a good thing, right? So, if you're interested in any of Fountain Pen Revolution's pens, you might want to check out Fountain Pen Revolution's website. And you can see all the pens that Kevin carries. Uh, and if you put in uh, the discount code Larry15, you can get 15% off. But regardless of what you do, let Kevin know where you heard about his pins at. That kind of helps me that, you know, just say I heard uh, from Larry's Fountain Pin about this pin, that pin, whatever. So that way, you know, he'll know where you got the information at and kind of helps me to spread the word around. But uh, definitely a, a great pen for the value. Uh, not going to break the bank. Like I said, it's it's not going to be a major crisis if you lose the pen. If you accidentally drop it and break it, 10 bucks, it's a win-win, right? Hey, appreciate your time. Until my next review, stay safe, my friends, and remember, do not 
text and drive. Talk to you later.